the question can, can be sometimes, what, uh, what is depression? And I like to kind of break it out into two different um, modes. One would be uh, what we would call mood disorders. Uh, and the other one would be situational depression. Um, situational depression is what we run into most of the time in our lives. Uh, we should expect to be sad about certain things. That's really, that's really a healthy depression. I mean, we've lost someone that we loved. Uh, we didn't get the promotion that we wanted to have. Those, those are common feelings that, that all of us are going to share. So the other depression that um, that we deal with here at the hospital more, and certainly uh, at, the, at the grief center, um, can be dep uh, depressions that uh, are called mood depressions. So those would be um, a major depression, also called clinical depression, uh, seasonal affective disorder, which is a depression dealing with the, the amount of light, uh, postpartum depression, we talk about that a lot in the hospital setting, uh, persistent depressive disorder. Those are all different, those are all depressions that for the most part are diagnosed. The symptoms uh, for depression uh, or feelings of just a, what you would call a real severe uh, depressed mood, that, that, that's, the more, that's one of the most important uh, elements of it. Um, uh, a lack of anything pleasurable. I used to love bluebell ice cream, now you just, I just don't want any bluebell ice cream. Um, uh, feelings of worthlessness, uh, inability to concentrate, uh, suicide ideation where you're thinking, you know, I don't, I don't even need to be on this earth anymore. Uh, not necessarily carrying it further, but just thinking about it. Um, the difficulty sleeping, uh, overeating or, or not eating enough, those are all symptoms of, of, of clinical depression or depression that can be diagnosed. Depending upon which discipline you talk to, uh, they, they may tell you that this would really be important. So if you're talking to a nutritionist, they might say if you'll just increase, if you'll increase certain foods and whatever, this will help your mood. And that's true. And if you talk to a physical therapist, they'll say, if you just do more exercise, uh, that's really gonna help, and that's true. Uh, if you talk to someone in the medical field, they'll say, you need some medication. And if you talk to a psychotherapist, they'll tell you that, that you need to talk to somebody. And those aren't ca count counter indicative, uh, contraindicative. You can certainly, uh, each one, if you did all of those, it would go a real long way to eliminating it. The two most important, though, I think, uh, the, the consensus would be uh, talk therapy and also medication. Uh, and if you had to just choose one thing, talk therapy would be it. The reason for that is, is because talk therapy, just the talking alone can change the thinking patterns of the brain without using any kind of chemicals whatsoever. Um, and plus, it allows you, after you've left there, to be able to go back and, and to work with what you've heard.